hope everything goes well and uh, you know you just trust trust the process. For Bill and Patty Exel, watching their 17-year-old son Billy drive away from their home in Ontario for a new home in Cloquet wasn't easy. As parents, you're just trying to tell your son it's going to be okay, it's going to work out. Hockey was supposed to be Billy's main focus. But thoughts about his new home consumed him. You know, you come here and at first you don't even know anything about the people you're living with. You just show up at the door and introduce yourself. Wilderness players not from the area. These guys aren't, aren't kids, so they're, they're young men. Are placed with hockey-loving volunteer families who land a home away from home to watch these boys follow their dreams. We've gone into it saying if our boys were uh, pursuing this kind of a dream, that we would want someone to do Somebody the same open up for a home them. for him, yeah. As soon as Billy met the Johnsons. Oh, I have a hard time saying no. Exactly, and, that's the main thing. She can't <laughs> say no. He and his parents could rest assured he would be in good hands. And yeah. knowing what we know now and where Billy does live, it's, it's the best it could be. We couldn't have asked for any, anything better. Tom Pruel, Carleton County Commissioner and Probation Officer, has years of experience working with kids. Sharing his home was nothing out of the ordinary. So I'm not, it's not unusual having kids or people, strangers, come into the house. and So that wasn't a big shock to me. I've always opened up my home to people. Living with Tom, Nick and Tyler feel right at home. We hang out, watch TV, go to the movies, go out to dinner. I mean, do stuff like a normal family would. Home, I'm cooking his cleaning the dishes and... Tom treats the boys as if they were his own. He's, he's like my son, you know, I, I have to get after him every now and then. And I, We give Taylor a hard time because he's, he he's gets a lot of penalties and he's been into a lot of fights and that kind of stuff, so we have to ground him frequently. We tell him if he gets in a penalty box, he's grounded. For Tom, hosting Nick, who came over from Finland, has been a different experience altogether. Tyler can go home and he's got family here, he's got a lot of family support. He can go home for Christmas visits and stuff. Nick, he stays with us, you know, he, he'll go with our family for the visits. Billet families get money each month to pay for food and necessities for these young hockey players. What are you making for supper? But Tom knows this is not a money-making venture. More about giving these kids a place to stay, a safe place to live, and, and you know, something that you can give to them and, and then they give back to the community. Uh, Tom and the Johnsons both agree a love for hockey is a necessity. We just like going to their games, number one. If they're away, you know, we talk about their games the next day or that night when they get home. So that's the biggest part of it, you know, bringing hockey into our family again. And hope to give the boys the chance to experience a whole different way of living. A lot of them have come from big cities and so they come and they have to get used to living in a small town a pretty big shock to some of them. Um, I think Kirk has had them throw firewood in and yeah. he probably made them venison. Right? Oh yeah, they pulled deer out of the woods for yeah. me. But the lifelong relationships. I mean, honestly, I would say he's like my second dad, to be honest with you. And the reward. Yeah, yeah You get sure. as much back as you yeah. put in. Is what drives them to continue opening up their homes. The kids just come in here and they just they, they feel like family. It's just, it's really a, kind of a neat experience because they, they may leave, but they, you know, they, they're not gone forever. While there's a family we are born with, there's also the family we get to choose. We're glad we made this choice, not just with the wilderness, but with the Johnson family because they are part of our lives now and part of his life. With photojournalist Devin Elmore, I'm Steph Manassero, KQDS Fox 21.